Welcome back. Let's do some nails. So I was getting ready to do this black negative space nails collaboration on Instagram and we needed to use black of course and then like a sheer jelly nude color and so I'm using Onyx by Dipsy Dip of course and then I mixed up some clear and Nomad to get that clear jelly look and I've already dipped this hand um, twice in clear and then one time in the sheer nude color so I'm just going in with my final dip on all of my nails and you see here I don't go quite up to my cuticle line I like to leave it maybe a hair's length away and then I'm just gonna do some color blocking here with Onyx. And then I'll let you watch me dip. So I used my cuticle pusher to just clean up some of the edges there and now I'm going around with my activator and my bottle is getting super low so I use a little pipette to get every last drop of my activator out. You'll see that here in a second. So in the interest of time, I've already buffed and filed and activated again. And now I'm going in with my top coat and I just love how shiny it makes it. And I like to put my top coat on before I use the transfer foils. I feel like it gives it a smoother finish um, for the adhesive to grab onto and I tend to get a better transfer when I'm trying to do a full design like the lace that I'm going to do. Now if I'm just using the foil ribbon sporadically it doesn't matter if I have a super smooth surface but when you're trying to transfer a full design I feel like having the top coat on already gives it the best shot. Now this transfer foil adhesive, it works, I like to say, just like lash glue. So you paint it onto your nails and it starts out white and then as it dries it'll turn clear. And you want to wait until it's clear before you press down the foil onto your nail. If you try to put it on when it's too wet still, it won't transfer. So you have to wait till it turns clear and it's nice and tacky and then it'll work for you. I think the hardest part for me when using these transfer foils 
is deciding on what part of the design I want to put on my nails. So I just turned it around until I found a section of the lace that I thought, thought fit the best. And then you press it down. And in order to transfer the full design, you really want to rub it on there. So I use the side of my other nail and I really rub in around the cuticles and try to smooth down all of those bumps and ridges that happens with the foil. Now, sometimes another common problem that people have, especially with like these lace foils when it's hard to tell, is if you follow all the steps, make sure your adhesive is tacky and it's not coming off, you probably have the foil upside down. So just flip the foil over and try again. And so we're gonna go ahead and put it on the other nail as well. Press it down and then really rub on that design. And when transferring the full designs, I think it's best to try to remove the foil ribbon slowly. That way you can tell if anything didn't transfer and you can lay it back down and try to rub it on some more. But um, I think that turned out pretty well. Now, because I've already used my dip top coat and then applied the transfer foil, if I tried to put my dip top coat on top, it's not going to dry because it doesn't have any contact with the activator. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my Maniology smudge free top coat from my stamping kit to seal in that transfer. And we're gonna move on to the thumbnail. And I think using that smudge free top coat on top of the foils, um, especially on top of like the transfer adhesive, it makes it kind of rough. It doesn't look quite as smooth and glossy as it does with the top coat for the dip. You can absolutely do these transfer foils um, on top of like the activated and then buffed dip, do the transfer adhesive, do the foil, and then use your top coat on top of it. I just prefer this method when transferring full designs, but I have done it the other way, and it works out just fine. So, go ahead and laying it down on the thumb again, really pressing it into all of those corners and crevices, and then You'll see here in a moment, I pull it away and it didn't quite catch all of the fishnet in the middle of my thumb. And so I really, I just lay it back down and I press it again and it kind of filled it in. I think it did a good job. So you can see here, there's kind of a spot missing in the middle right there, which would have driven me nuts. So I'm just gonna lay the little fishnet part back down and I'll try again. It filled in some of it, but I'll live with it. <laughs> so then, just to make it easy on myself, for the tiny little black lines, kind of like a, a V French tip, I'm just using a black nail polish. This is LA Colors. I think I got it from the dollar store. I can't be sure. <laughs> I pick up nail polish in the most random places, um, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Target, Walmart, you know, wherever I'm walking by and happen to see a nail polish color that I want. <laughs> so I'm just really quickly and trying to be precise here with the little French tip that I'm doing with the black. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how that turned out. I thought for sure that I was going to mess it all up and I was going to have to remove the whole mani. So I'm happy with how the lines came out relatively straight and even. So I'm pretty happy with that. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and subscribe to my channel and catch me on Facebook for live tutorials. Bye.